What is up guys, it's your boy Scooter back again with another video and today I'm going to be giving you a couple tips and tricks about uh, some of the different things your PlayStation 4 can do. Um, so the first thing is you on your wireless uh, DualShock controller there is a 3.5 meter, meter headphone jack so you can use this headphone jack to listen to the gameplay that is on your uh, PlayStation 4. So. I think it'd be a really cheap alternative in case you can't purchase a headset, but um, it'd probably be best if you did buy a headset, you know, get the real uh, surround sound and stuff. And then the next thing that I'm going to say is that you can use your cell phone, I believe it's on Android and iOS, to use it as a keyboard instead of using your controller. Uh, to type out those long messages and stuff so you can just basically type out the messages on your cell phone to your friends and whenever you get messages and stuff so I think that's really great in case um, you ever have long messages and then the next thing is you can preload your game so whenever you pre-order a game um, you can already pretty much I think I believe you can download the full game but you will not be able to play the game until um, the release date so as soon as uh, midnight comes you can play the game you don't have to wait unlike uh, the other gamers for the game to install you already have the game already installed on your console so I think that works out really great now usually uh, PC gamers are only able to do this I believe it's on Steam and Origin they are the ones that are usually able to download the game before it actually comes out and then once again uh, you're able to play that game right at midnight or whenever the launch date it is and then the next thing is you can charge your devices while your PlayStation 4 is in standby mode so that um, works out really great so you really don't have to have your PlayStation 4 actually on to charge your controllers and stuff so that works out perfectly and then so what you need to do is you need to make sure that in your settings that you um, turn on the standby mode and it allows your PlayStation 4 to download the updates as well as um, download games as well as uh, charge uh, you make the USB ports active while the console is in standby mode so and then the next thing you can download games remotely so if you have the PlayStation Store app downloaded on your phone, which I believe is also for Android and iOS, you can download games directly from your cell phone. And the way that works is your PlayStation 4 has to be connected to the internet in or your PlayStation has to be connected to the internet as well as your phone has to be linked to the correct account in order for your PlayStation to start downloading your games. So I think this works out really well. Say like if you purchase a game um, from your cell phone, you can already have it downloading um, on your console. So, I'll, but that's I think that is really great. And then the next thing is the light bar that's on your controller. Now, depending on the way you want your settings, you can adjust the the light bar the light bar that's on your controller. You can adjust the brightness, the different colors. Um, and also depending on the game that you are playing the light bar will change colors itself so um, I was watching a friend play and then um, on he was playing Grand Theft Auto 5 and whenever the police was chasing him the light bar started flashing red and blue so I think that's really cool for um, their PlayStation controller to do something like that and then you know, the last and final one is uh, security settings you can on your security settings you can have it so your console will ask for a passcode whenever you get ready to turn on a game or turn on the um, to make a purchase and things like that and then also you have your parental uh, parental um, guides or password I mean so whenever if say like you have children you don't want them purchasing games using up all your store credit and stuff you can set a passcode and um, to use that but anyway this is just this was just a quick video on some of the tips and tricks that I did, was able to discover and uh, be sure to leave your comments and thoughts down below in the comment section and I will be sure to reply and check them out but if you have any more topics or whatever that you would like, be sure to leave it down there in the comment description. And I'll be sure to check it out. And 
I'm signing out on this. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.